Arc Aberration, a map you know you love. Well, it's been redone, recreated, reimagined by Neddy the Noodle and his team for you Arc Law nerds out there to dive deep into what we know about the Ark characters on this map. So we're going to see what Ned and his team, Golden Drop, Ness, Randy V, Red Gear and Spartan have created for us. Neddy the Noodle, how you doing, mate? Good. We're making it through. Oh. Almost there. No. <laughs> Not right. too bad. Well, how are you? I'm good. I'm good, mate. I'm good. I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing what you've made. I'm uh, I'm currently in Portal, already noticing it looking a little bit different. Oh, yes. What do you notice? Uh, th there's no sides. There's no... <laughs> the, the, the overhangs on the left and the right are gone. The Portal looks a bit different. What, what, what is that? The, the arches look different. I'm, I'm, it's it's I'm, I'm not as broken. Am I? Am I? Is that right? So yeah, yeah. So we actually polished the whole thing, so it's not rusty anymore. Right. Um, there's still some like grime and stuff on the sides, but That's um, what it is, yeah, yeah. The, the rust is gone because the idea is they just uh, created this. They just manufactured it with their right. amazing tech tools that are gigantic. Um, and so, you know, right. you can fly over to kind of like where it starts to go into the main part of Aberration. You'll okay. see our little workshop over oh, here. Oh, I do. I see it's Replicator and Forges. Oh, oh, okay. And so these are not actually player structures. Uh, oh. A lot of this is map extensions. So it's basically we made map extensions to remove the ruins. And yeah. then we made map extensions to add new ones back. That's how we have the clean, polished ones as well as these, you know, workshop structures and stuff. Right. Um, and so if you fly up, make sure you don't land on this. I can actually show you yeah. the process of like, you know, how we would um, disintegrate this <laughs> or take it apart uh, step by step. So, what? so know, essentially each of these pieces is independent. And oh, wow. As you can see. And you're, you're loading them in and out and that's it. Oh, it's gone. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then, you know, we can turn it back on. Wow. P1, P2. So, yeah, oh, dude! Sort of... I saw you tease this before. That you even animated how they they pop into the map as well. That's that's beautiful. I love that. It, yeah, that was just yeah. a scuffed, you know, matinee sort of way. Matinee, they're all, they're yeah. normally just under the map, and matinee refers to basically the old arc dev kits version of the sequencer that you might you know hear about in Unreal Engine Five. The sequencer is the newer version that's gotcha. like a million times better. All of these structures that you see here, just about all of them except for small decorative stuff, mm -hmm. are essentially static meshes that were wow. Ness built these structures. And you'll see actually if you watch part one when yeah. they build this city originally, yeah. Ness we we use the structures that Ness built, but for part two, we realized we needed a bigger city. We wanted it to be cooler, you know, we wanted more people, we don't want all this kind of stuff. So we took the structure, it took probably 200 plus hours of work, um, yeah. just on my end. Um, after Randy developed the pipeline, mind you, and you, you know, I'd, I'd take the structures, put them into the dev kit, export them into Blender with this crazy process, and then one by one, Get all these structures as their own static meshes that you can see from any distance away. So if you fly really far away, you can see these structures. They don't. They don't. Do oh, I actually I've experienced that quite recently myself with, with something. Um, yeah, well, I'll get to that. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you do. You definitely summed it up as the word "cool." It is very cool. <laughs> uh, you know, incorporating what we know about tech, not looking too dissimilar, but at the same time reinventing it I, it's beautiful i you know look at this it, it, just, just this 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 sophia on the top with uh tech lights <laughs> beautiful yeah and there's there you know there's a lot of it's it's been really fun if you look at the towers with the big light strips in them yeah you know, those are made with decals and so um making these you know doing this in the dev kit has, has allowed for even more creative freedom that's incredible where we're able to combine how you know what wild could use to make their maps with the actual structures to make it really blend in. Wow. Um, granted, they're lower quality, which allows them to be better for performance. Yeah, sure. Um, and also just by virtue of how they how the static meshes work. Yeah, sure. Um, so I know I noticed uh, a few people walking about uh, on their daily oh, yes. tasks. Yeah. Let's. Uh, yeah. yeah. So these are. Um, it, it would be a little bit uh, silly to call them NPCs because they're not right. really functional right um you know the fact that you can hide and show them but these are essentially put on splines and so i created paths around the city for these people to walk on we have our own blueprint that randomly generates their attributes like their armor all that kind of stuff yeah and so you know we've got different ones we got this guy who just eternally does this there's this lady <laughs> this sitting is... up here 
<laughs> Eternal hell. Um, oh, yeah. You'll see there's some dead bodies. Um, I see half this... of our day. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, so let's get, let's get in oh. five on. Oh, no. That's a, what, 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 what a way to go. Oh, all right, okay. Oh, hey. right, okay. <laughs> oh. So N5 adds all the, all the blood and the DK. Oh, just wow. Just everything. So, you know, you'll see if you go over here, it is. Man, I am just That's really tormented. As a kid, I was just always like really. <laughs> you're a, yeah, it you're a sick puppy, really Ned. Oh, that, that's the, the oh, there it is. It's the, a little. The, uh, it, it's very. Um, <laughs> it's only for for sort oh, of. Oh, <laughs> the start of the end. Yeah. Oh dear. Sort of, like hang out on on the top of the roof. And okay. And that's the yeah. perspective. That's oh the right wow! Perspective, yeah. and this is his his first so, fall. Yep. So this is uh, done by V, um, yep. by Recon Virus. Um, just an amazing modeler. Uh, he made the, the tentacles from scratch as well as Rockwell from scratch. Fantastic. So we can actually play that in reverse and you can get really close to him and see his, the detail on his. Oh, know, that's incredible. Him. And I, I, how ac accurately you try to depict the, you know, the bus whilst, yeah, a nod to what his human self would look like. It's. Um, it's great. It's a great transition between the two. Yeah, it, yeah. It, it was really a, it was an awesome collaboration between. Uh, we had, I don't know, you might be familiar with Velco. Velco has done a lot of arc route, you know, Rockwell art and different like. Concept I do. Art yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Velico actually did the concept art for Rockwell here, wow. so that we could have a better way to communicate to V, you know, what he was going to need to make. Oh, that's fantastic. And it's really this, this, like you said, sort of you know, bridging the gap almost between human Rockwell and mm -hmm. the boss one. Yeah, yeah, that's incredible. All the structures and all the destruction, all the different matinees you see, most of them were made by me. And oh, it's fantastic it was work. A whole lot of work, but it was so valuable. No, it's yeah. wonderful. It's, it's great to see. I, 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 again, the, uh, the different armor sets uh, being adorned. Oh, yeah. Man, this there's little so... group. <laughs> yeah, there's so much extra. You see um, these people. Yeah, mm. there is so much extra um, content that was made, uh, you know, little just little structures. And oh, oh, you're going to see something in the video. But let me show you really oh. quickly. OK, then this is also modeled by the completely what different. What the track, hell it's, is that? It's based, what? It's based off um, one of Rockwell's notes. And I'll uh, send that to you so you can show it on screen. Right. Yeah. Too. Yeah. Um, yeah, let me find that really quick. This, do you recall Mayim's Shinehorn from part one? I don't know what it's going to remember it, but in, in uh, part one, Mayim tames a Shinehorn. That's right. Um, and uh, Rockwell kidnaps the Shinehorn and oh. um, injects it with a uh, raw, pure element. No, and this is the, sh the Shinehorn. This is it. No yes. way. So it was based off this note here, this illustration I'll send you now. Cool. Rockwell 22. And it's, the similarity is pretty uncanny. Um, it, it's just, you know, we, we incorporated Zhao's colors. Um, yeah. Zhao's the name of the Shinehorn. And it has multiple animations too. So when, when we punch it, it cycles through different animations. You know, it tries right. to get up. It's like struggling to breathe. <laughs> um, so cruel. <laughs> yeah, let me get these people out of here really quickly. <laughs> Keep shouting at me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, also, you know, also celebrating the uh, the cruelty of <laughs> this creature. Yeah, Peter. Peter's gonna barge in here soon. <laughs> but yeah, eventually oh, Diana no. puts it down. Right. Yeah. Yeah. It, the rail gun. Wow. But yeah, it's um, Jeez, it, it, that's, man, that's... it was disturbing. Uh, you'll also notice in the video it makes some really creepy sounds, um, and I voiced all of those with a lot of modulation and stuff. That's awesome. Um, People are going to want to see this in the game. There's some more, so many extra items that, you know, yeah. these were made because they were mentioned in the notes. They don't exist. You know, Helena at some points, like, oh! almost walked into a carnivorous plant. The carnivorous and we're like, plants. okay, that, that doesn't exist. Yeah. <laughs> so we had to, this was actually, I believe, in the game files, the model for this. That's right. It didn't have a texture, um, but Golden. Uh, Golden actually made a texture for it. So wow, yeah, because it, originally this was speculated to appear in, in Gen 2. Um, I think so, yeah, yeah. I think you're right there. Yeah. Now, one thing, I wonder how this is going to look on your arm, but um, Go on. Eat, eat this. <laughs> oh, transform into Rockwell, what? <laughs> right. Look at your arm. Oh, wow. So. I have yeah, Rockwell. Rockwell, I am, I am, no. 
I'm my way to becoming <laughs> Rockwell. Love it. On your way. Yes. Oh man, the the, the transition the between the skin actually works even better with your skin tone. It yeah. looks a little scuffed for Rockwell because he's a lot like lighter skinned. Highly, yeah. Um, and so you can see the difference more, but oh, that's, that's very nice. That's very cool, dude. I love that. Um, and then yeah, you wanna you wanna inject? Yeah, you wanna off. shoot up? <laughs> shoot up! <laughs> no, <laughs> God, go for it. So there you go. You're holding oh, your string. Now I think <laughs> if you press G, I think. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Oh, you like hello. Mm -hmm. What is this? Should I? Oh, oh should I go <laughs> for it? Oh, maybe. <laughs> and there it is. Yep. Beautiful. And this is, I guess, Rockwell injecting himself. Yep. That's great. Yeah, he, yeah that you'll see that at the very end uh, before he, you know, turns into that and brilliant. All kinds of fun little oh, smoke dude. effects as the building rumbles. That's you amazing. know, the idea is is he. For some backstory, he hoarded, you know, throughout the notes, you'll notice more and more element containers in his little corner of the lab, his little, yeah. like, corner that nobody likes to go in because it's scary and it smells bad. <laughs> it and so he's, like, hoarded bad. all this element. And so by the end, it's everywhere. There's just so much element. And so when he transforms, yeah. the idea is he smashes it, he breaks it, and it, and it, you know, he's able to absorb the element in it, it just gets bigger and bigger breaks out of the lab. Wow. So I made that, um, if you look at the obelisk, you know, pulse matinee. Um, and, and really that's the power of matinees is like, you can pretty much do anything to the map. Oh, okay, in the you middle, like, yeah, I said the pulse. Make anything. About. Like that's if beautiful. we wanted, we could literally just make the obelisk like explode into a million pieces. What? Like, that's just, you can it's, essentially do anything with That's matinees. fantastic, mate. Yeah. And if you go to the actual, um, you know, the terminal here, mm -hmm. You can activate the portal. So this is when wow, uh, Santiago right. hacks into the uh, heart of the heart of the station. They call it, which is yeah. where we'll go next. Oh, um, the heart of the station. No, we're going is... to the heart of the no, the aberration station. Oh yes, oh yes. It's, it's, so it's deep inside of the arc, like under under the element and everything. Uh, we're not going to teleport in. We have okay. to switch maps, but <laughs> but we, <laughs> no, can, we can pretend like they are. Yeah, where we are. exactly. <laughs> we'll pretend like, like yeah. <laughs> Part of the station. Wow. Oh my god! There we go. <laughs> yeah. So oh, you know, geez. we I, I think Golden put really just a lot of um, care into this because. It's just oh, oh. <laughs> <Goodbye>. <laughs> yeah, it's just, I was it all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, wow! Oh, this is this is incredible, dude. Look at the detail. It just sur surrounding the terminal, all hooked up with. Uh, uh, I'm guessing like the, what leads that are pumping. What power to sci-fi stuff? You know? Yeah, yeah. It's just just that sci-fi stuff. I've never noticed it before, but. It, there is like a bit of a nod, and I know that this actually was incorporated. Uh, nods to HR Geiger, like Jesus kind of didn't he had an influence, and I know he had a lot. Oh, of, yes, yeah, he you, loves HR oh, Geiger. We, yeah, we actually used a lot of his concept art for inspiration, um, right? Yeah, and Jesus kind is a massive fan of HR Geiger, I believe. Um, so yeah, oh, wow. yeah, this is only the beginning, this is a very large facility. They go through multiple rooms because um, they actually spend so about I six know. notes here or something. They spend a lot of time here. They really. Um, but welcome to what? the <gasps> the creature cloning chamber, and what? I mean the scale of this is just insane. Like I, I was just really taken aback when when Golden was you know showing me this for the first time because I was like, oh wait, man, you really made this big. Oh, the atmosphere is incredible. It is. Yeah. It, the, the, it's the scale. It, 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 you know, the, 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 the light just seeping through the illumination of the pods. And are these all rendered yeah. pods, or is they static? Um, yeah. Well, every, I mean, everything's generally a static mesh. Wow. If you've got your skeletal meshes inside. It's. I think on the walls, it's mostly just like reapers. It's all pretty much just reapers, so that we could put more detail in the in the main stuff here, but. You know, if you go up to these pods over here, we've got all kinds of different creatures. There's a little roll rat chilling in that one. Oh my <laughs> god. In this one. Dude, I got goosebumps. This is amazing. <laughs> That's all. I'm sure you'd I'm sure you'd be glad. Um I didn't work on any of this. It was it wow. was really all golden and, and spartan to a degree, but mostly That's fantastic. Well actually work. I did some bug fixing um with Randy, but yeah. generally all the creative design was golden. But 
you know, and it's just I a lot of diversity that. in the different, you know, yeah. lots of eggs in this one and oh, the reaper oh. and fetuses. Wow. Rock drake Rock eggs drake always eggs. look cool. They got that cool glow. They just look yeah, cool. Yeah, they, they, they do. They do. They always make a good thumbnail. Dudes. Yeah, this this underneath. So is this like a a, what, a, a picking uh, app apparatus? <laughs> Some mechanic it's basically where, underneath. where they store their creatures, and then yeah, I, I don't know how the little like what this little thing is down here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it has all these little. It's just sci-fi, you know. <laughs> yeah, just sci-fi, bro. <laughs> just just sci-fi yep. it up, bro. That, that, that's, how, that's how Wildcard designed their maps. So yeah, taken after them. <laughs> uh, th it is. This is great, and every single one of these has a Reaper in. I believe so. Good yeah. grief! Fantastic work, dude. Um, oh, okay. Yeah, something's gone a little bit wrong here. That it feels. Oh, There's you're starting to notice. Yeah, the yeah. purple is really uh, uh, the fun uh, bits. That so says. Sort of, oh, there's uh, a there's a defense unit as well through this door. Which door? Um, <laughs> this, uh, the, the, this, just the front one over here, over here. This, okay, okay. Um, oh. oh, we. Uh, it would have been really cool to include more of those, but that guy's kind of just dead. Oh wow, yeah. <laughs> it, it's um, you showed me this in the previous one. They look a bit more organic. This here, okay, is uh really the the human the specimen room. Oh. I don't remember what we called it, but this is the human room. Wow. So, <clears throat> um, yeah. I mean, it's pretty much just self-explanatory. It, it, it really is, yeah. Humans and pods, and they're all randomly generated for some reason. They have a lot of uh, red hair, <laughs> a disproportionate <laughs> amount of redness in their in their hair color, but it is what it is. You know, it's it's looking a bit dodgy in here, dude. So, oh, feels yeah. like something's got a bit rug back here. Oh no! <laughs> so then we go to this okay. dark tunnel. Um, wow. Eventually. Oh, this is uh, super don't worry. Dark. This, this looks like a horror game it almost. Definitely <laughs> feels like a horror game. Oh God! <laughs> yeah, we we just yeah. It's just for tactical reasons me. in this tunnel. <laughs> <laughs> it's just for tactical reasons. It's so long. Uh, it'll take a while to get together and see. Oh, really? Okay, okay, okay. Now, fun fact: they, in the actual, um, you know, in the survival story, they yeah. don't have their helmets on. They took them off for this part, which, yeah. uh, in hindsight, they probably would have died from element fumes. So, mm. a little, little uh, <laughs> accident on my end. But um, yeah, this fumes. is a fun little room. Because it's just this giant, you know, this oh, element it's incredible. huge rivers, and it's, it, it just makes you wonder how, how is the arc so large that we could hold all this? Exactly, it, it, it's it, crazy. Uh, there's a massive sense of scale here, and you know, all these bridges uh, connecting out to these different areas. It just, it, it, it makes you want to explore even further and see where what yeah well and, and realize that there's even more pod rooms um that i guess these all the bridges extend towards yeah. wow um and so then you know they go through here and oh ah, this this room big here tech was, lights I, oh yeah giant tech lights giant yeah. tech lights anyone <laughs> we need them i love the illumination that they're creating like that lighting that's beautiful. Lights that lighting like yeah huge it really does like, but we I, go through here. Honestly, like from from a a like somebody who tries to make the perfect thumbnail, something like this would be great. You know. Yeah, I mean um, that's. I think that's the, and that's something you know I can show you the the thumbnail we did. Like that's yeah. something I think that is highly underutilized is using mm -hmm. Arcs Engine and what we'll be able to do soon with you know yeah, U5, U5 actually, yeah. um, you know, make something that looks really good without having to utilize Blender. You know, like for yeah. example, this I made this in the dev kit. Um, right. Myself, um, with help from Golden, making some, you know, setting up some of the assets. Oh. But you know, all that lighting in the thumbnail, um, I just sent you like that. Yeah. That was all just in in engine in Dev Kit. Welcome to the control room. Wow. And, and, you know, the, the the gang's here. Um, <laughs> <laughs> this is the actual trio. Oh, but, there they are. Yeah, yeah. Well, there's there's my the tech katanas. Tech tech katanas. No. Oh, yes. Yeah. Um, that's a. I don't know if it works on the mail. I could try. Oh, that's amazing. Um, we also have Nameless and a... No, this is Tamed Baby Reaper. <laughs> so uh, we, made, we made these. Hi. What, what? Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> so, yeah, I can just show you, you know, my, my, my friend here. So, yeah, this is... Uh, as you can see, there's alien blood around. There's these purple doors. You're like, yeah. okay. Yeah. It's uh, something... Something's wrong definitely here. gone a bit wrong here, mate. 
Uh, obviously... And, you know, on the right side, we can see, like, uh, there's text over here on this console. Yeah. It says, run, 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 they are coming. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't and, get uh, uh, more alarming than that, dude. And yeah, that's the obelisk that like fell over. I yeah, believe. on the right, yeah. In part one. And really, you know, they're like, all right, we got to mess with these consoles. And eventually, it's kind of fun. It's almost humorous to me. Santiago punches the console eventually. And then it just like <laughs> fixes everything. And Helen is like, eh, it Of course, of course um, it does. But oh, yeah, but Sa Sa Santiago that. with hair as well. Oh! That's, you know, that's kind of scary. That's that's the alarm then, system, I, I, I'm guessing, is it? Exactly. Uh, yeah. They trigger the alarm system, and then Helen is like, wait, I hear noises. And right. the gates open in the back. Um, I don't know the command on, on hand. Okay. But, um, you know, the, gate, the gates open, and Reapers just pour out like a swarm no. of, of all kinds of different sizes. There's little ones, there's big ones. Right. And so they're like, all right. Mayan pulls out our katanas, and they, they fight, and they run. And wow. Ro Rockwell's... Lab, here Rockwell's we are. Lab. Let's Whoa. set it back to normal. Rockwell's kind of like on the ground. Uh, okay. Don't worry about him. <laughs> I, I haven't seen him. I don't, I don't know about. <laughs> Rockwell died. <laughs> I, rec I recognize these. Oh yeah. So yeah. um, we did use some ecos mod yeah, for this, yeah. just for the extra you know, uh, detail and decoration. Um. Yeah, eco does. You'll such notice a great job. Uh, something on the wall over there. <laughs> yeah. I think I saw this on your live stream. Yeah. This is where Rockwell's fully lost the plot now. Back here and yeah. yeah. Yeah, this is his little like, you know, yeah, this is where he transforms Zhao and this is just his little corner. He even look, he's, he even has that he sleeps with the element, puts it in his oh, little sleeping no. bag. Oh no. Rockwell. <laughs> you, you got you got a screw loose, dude. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, got a screw um, loose. <laughs> I don't... There's a there's a shot that didn't make it in where he's like laying next to it and looking at it, like right. his face is like right up next to it. Yeah. Oh, the light! It's just so so cursed. It just didn't make it in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's um. Right. Then we also have uh, mm -hmm. Rockwell Big. So. Oh. <laughs> um. You can't really see it too well, but there's a shadow on the wall, and and <laughs> ignore that. So what we did is uh, Golden applied the nameless effect onto the human model. Right. And basically, you know, in, in how whenever it becomes an alpha, it sort of like does that. Old yeah, yeah, that, 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 that bubble. Yeah. That was wow. how we got, you know, the shadow on the left here to, to sh sort of make it look like. His ah, skin was I see. That, that was the yeah, effect was he was going for. I was wondering why he looks a bit like a crash test on me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we don't actually show. No, that's great. And you just, yeah, just, I just built just for a shadow. That's oh, honestly. The attention to detail, yeah. incredible dude. There's also a fun little hand animation. Oh, um, God. I think this is it. So oh. Spartan did this, you know, where his sort of hand, you'll see it in like a real quick shot. Yeah, Fingers beautiful. start breaking. Right. Spartan called it the Bioshock hand. So, <laughs> the Bioshock you know, I think hands. really, <laughs> yeah, uh, we've taken a lot of inspiration, like with Rockwell's story arc, really, it's a, we want, we didn't want to hold back. It, it's mm. really dark. It's really scary. And even for me making it, it, it was really scary. <laughs> like, That's crazy. It's really, really just like, God, what are we making? <laughs> yeah. um, it, it's incredible. I can't wait to see this all in action, how it's edited and, and chopped up. Massive credit to the team behind this. It, it really is um, a great depiction of our community as well. You know, how many people can come together to create something like this. I really look forward to seeing the finished product, which uh, should be already out by the time this video is out, I'm sure. So people, link in the description. Go watch that video if you haven't already. I'm sure you already have, though. And dude can't wait to check out part three when it comes. Thank you very Absolutely. much for inviting me. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for watching. My name is Ross Clark. <laughs> Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And as always, uh, peace out. Stop!